Server protection is available for both Windows and Linux servers, as well as virtual environments and servers hosted by Amazon Web Services. Server protection is deployed in the same way that you would deploy endpoint protection to a computer, and once it is installed, the server will appear under the server's screen. Here, you can see some useful information about the server, such as the name, operating system, and IP address. Server policies are also configured in the same way as devices. However, server policies are applied to servers or server groups and the policy will always take effect no matter which user is logged in. The benefit of this is that the server will always be protected with the policies that you have defined and you don't need to worry about tailoring server policies to specific users. There are very little differences between the server and endpoint policies, however some policies have been modified where appropriate for server use. For example, the wipe guard and root cause analysis features of Intercept X are not available in server protection, although features like Crypto Guard are still available to be used with the advanced server protection license. Server protection does have a unique lockdown feature that allows you to restrict the applications that are allowed to run on each server. Before the server is locked down, it creates a list of known applications and after it is enabled, the existing applications will be trusted. Any new applications going forward will be automatically blocked unless an exception is specified in the lockdown policy. This is useful because you can keep the server in lockdown while installing any necessary additional software. As you can see, this particular Windows 2012 server is currently in lockdown I'm now going to attempt to install a new web browser. As you can see, the install has been blocked by the server protection lockdown policy.